Hi everyone and welcome to a new Path of Exile video. In this video we are going to talk about haste. Uh, let me bring up the footage here. So um, I was leveling my Summon Golem Monster build. I was around level 70, 75 uh, and I wanted to try some haste uh, to see if there is some profit uh, to be made uh, during mid late league. So I took, uh, I spent 1x, I buy, bought in bulk uh, 29 perception contracts and I chose perception contracts because uh, they can still be run by Janna, which gives you a reveal, a discounted reveal and also because they are quite good in terms of profit. The strategy here is pretty simple. I run the contract uh, uh, blank uh, or uh, magic with uh, not dangerous modifiers because uh, I was still leveling my build. As you can see in the footage, I'm still leveling my gems. Uh, so the build wasn't that strong. Uh, in fact, I think I died in a couple of contracts and um, I still managed to earn uh, a lot of experience uh, by doing the contracts and later some blueprints I made like 10-15 levels from 70-75 to almost 90. Besides that uh, I managed to turn my 1x investment into a 2.47x profit uh, in about two hours playing very casually. I also took some poses between contracts. So uh, this is a recap uh, of my his contracts. I'm using a Xilinx Nest to track my earnings. Uh, I have a video about it. Go check it out. So basically, the cost I paid 1x for 29 level 83 plus perception contracts. And I earned 407 chaos from raw currency. That means uh, stacked decks, uh, currency essences, fossils, and things like that. 153 chaos from rogue markers and uh, they were priced uh, 300 rogue markers at 1c. Those rogue markers, uh, instead of selling them, I used them later for blueprints. I'm gonna talk about it uh, in, a, in a little bit. And also, since we are doing a perception contract, with level one, two, and three perception, you can bring Janna with you and get a Janna reveal, which is a discounted reveal, and it's saving you about uh, from 400 to even 1k rogue markers for each reveal and uh, for 20 reveals uh, you manage to save about 30 from 30 to 50 chaos worth of rogue markers so i've counted also that uh, into everything and uh, at the end of the day we did uh, 590c worth uh, of uh, earnings which is about 3.47x worth of stuff and uh, we spent 1x for the contracts, so the actual profit is 2.47x, 420c. After running the contracts, I decided to run uh, six blueprints I had in my stash. They were decent with some currency room, some divination room, fossil rooms. And um, I spent another 150 chaos worth of rogue markers uh, to reveal everything. And uh, after running them, it took me about uh, four hours to run them. I took it very casually. I also took some poses between contracts uh, because of my health problems. And um, I made 1052 chaos worth of currency and cards. I've discarded the cards uh, which are worth uh, one C or less. Um, I made 446 chaos worth of uh, uh, haste reward. Uh, we got some unusual gems uh, uh, worth like 15 20 chaos. We got uh, one unusual gem uh, worth uh, 0.8 uh, exalted. We got one lens uh, for 130 C, and we also got one trinket uh, worth 30 C. The total for the blueprints is almost uh, 1500 chaos, uh, which is about 8.81 exalted. If you consider the cost, uh, let's say you didn't do the contracts before, you have to buy all the rogue markers, 
so I spent 90k rogue markers for about 300 chaos and I have to buy 6 blueprint uh, they are worth, uh, you can buy them in bulk uh, in the TFT discord for about uh, 20c each so 6 blueprint 120c uh, considering those costs uh, you still are gaining from profit, pure profit, uh, 1078c which are about 6.34 exalted orb profit, pure profit in my case, uh, I already had the blueprints, I already had 45k uh, rogue markers from the contract run earlier so I had to buy only the additional rogue markers and the first 29 contracts so I spent uh, 320 chaos and I made uh, about 1800 chaos profit which is uh, 10.4 exalted profit from Contracts and blueprints together combined. So at the end of the day, I wanted to level up my character quickly, and since it was a minion build, I felt like haste was a good place to do it. And I've decided to invest some currency to see if you can make some profit during mid late league doing haste casually. And uh, yes, you can. Uh, you can also min-max uh, haste uh, better to make more profit uh, and you can also do more uh, profitable strategy if you want to but that's, that's not the point of the video the goal of the video is to show you that you can actually make some good currency by running haste uh, even in mid late league without a big investment and um, while leveling your alt build uh, like I mentioned earlier, my build was like level 75 and uh, I st was still leveling my gems. Uh, I managed to do level 19 after the contracts and the blueprints, so big experience, big earnings. And um, that's about it for me today. If you want me to make a video about how I run the contracts, how I run the blueprints, and some tips and tricks on how to run Hista, let me know in the comments. I will be happy to make a video about it. Um, you can also catch me on Twitch. If you have any question, feel free to jump in here and uh, ask. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to receive more content like this. And see you in the next one. Stay safe. Exile.